Hello everyone and welcome to the Myopics Topics channel. I'm Andy and today we're going to do something a little bit different. I started making a uh, the gallery wall that you see behind me. Um, we were just making it to kind of have something cool in our office and uh, started started making it and thought hmm maybe a few people would like to see how I'm doing it. So one of the first things that I did when I was making this photo wall is I went and I just grabbed a lot of frames from Ikea and some of the frames that I already had around the house and I laid them out on the floor in my living room and dining room area. I measured out my wall, how, how big the wall was going to be. Um, so as I measured that out, I uh, laid out the pictures um, and put those pictures all over the floor in the format that I wanted to try to make them out. And then I determined and mixed them around until I could figure out what, what looked the best. Also, after I'd done that, then I took the photos and I organized all of my black and white photos that I had of my own um, that I thought I might want to display. And I put those on a sheet and then we went through and we cut them. And we had about 49 photos that we were going to use. Then after that, I labeled each one of those photos with an A1, A2, A3, uh, kind of each column going up and down the, the vertical wall as an A and a B and a C all the way across to H. And then with that, I took and I made a list of exactly what I needed to buy from Ikea because I didn't have all the frames that I needed. And then I also went through and I said, okay, well this photo I think I'm going to map. Uh, this is going to be a landscape photo, it's going to be an 8x10 or it's going to be a 5x7. That type of uh, detail I started to put together on this sheet. Uh, and all of that was based off of the photo layout that we had made before. Then I created mock-up papers with each one of those photos on it. So, um, with the correct size and then I put them in the spacing, the shapes roughly that they would be on the wall. So each one is labeled with what the photo is, what the label is, and as I'm going through, I'm confirming that my layout on the actual wall matches what I, what I expected to have. With this step, lay out all of the big photos that you have and then work around those photos because those are going to be your anchors for everything that you're doing. So um, what I did was I had a couple of 16 by 20 landscape photos, um, one on the bottom and on the top, and then I also had uh, a huge painting that I'm going to put up on the right. So now all of those items are, are put on the wall and filled in around those big photos. So the big photos are the anchor, and then after that we, we fill in around. And key point with this step is it's a lot easier to go ahead and tape everything up in the size that it's going to be rather than uh, drill holes and hammer in holes and then have problems later and have to move everything so okay so now I've got the whole wall laid out and as I laid it out I found that I had a lot of gaps I just took some uh, greeting cards that I had from uh, some past gifts and things like that and I took those and I just put those in where the gaps are and then I'm going to go back and I'm going to print some uh, 4x6 uh, photos that I can put into those slots. Um, so all of the all of the frames, um, I'd say 99% of all of the frames we got from Ikea. They're a mixture of all different uh, styles so uh, tried to mix and match, have a little bit different layout so all of the pictures aren't in a perfect alignment also we don't have um, all of the same size so some are 8 by 10 some are slightly bigger slightly smaller so I've got some 4 by 6's which were old photos that I had that I just wanted I used to fill in some space um, actually film photos and then uh, a lot of my digital black and whites that I took while I was in Japan and also in Taiwan one of the things that I had to do for this, I, I originally put the photo frames up and because I, I shoot with some uh, pretty strong lights in, in the room here, uh, what I was getting was a lot of glare off of those and you can still see a little bit of the glare off of the, off of the one photo up here some. Um, it's matted out a lot so it's not, 
it's just kind of a sheen on it right now but um, before uh, I was getting a very very strong glare off of my off of my big studio light um, what I did was I sprayed each one of these frames with a matte uh, acrylic um, archive varnish so if you're looking at the photos they might look a little bit out of focus the matte finish that I had to put on to the frames are kind of making it look like that. Uh, overall for this project I think we probably spent three hundred dollars. IKEA is you know if you want to if you want to get the frames that look kind of cool but are, are not gonna break the bank that's a good place to go. Um, they're all acrylic for me that that worked really well because I basically was ruining all of these with the matte matte uh, spray so um, a five or six dollar frame is not not so bad if you're talking about a twenty or thirty dollar frame then I don't know that I would have wanted to spray all of those I hope you enjoyed the video um, if you did uh, please like uh, down below um, if you haven't subscribed go ahead and subscribe um, I think I'm up to 10 or 11 subscribers now, so I, I thank everyone who's subscribed. If you'd like to leave a comment uh, down below, let me know if you liked this video, if you didn't like the video, or if you've got ideas for other videos, or if you've got any questions on how I, how I did this project, uh, please comment below and I'll, uh, I'll answer back. Thanks for watching. I'm Andy with Myopic Stoppers Channel.